Welcome back everyone to my weekly series where I introduce you to new games to play on Roblox. If you enjoy discovering new games to play on Roblox, please support the series by hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Also, if you missed any of the previous episodes, you can check them out in the link in the description or by clicking on the link on the top right for the full playlist because we have hundreds of games for you to check out. So first up, we have a game called Nation Survival. This game was recommended by I Need Help Mentally Sick. Yeah, that's that's actually their username. I didn't make that up. <laughs> you can see you come over here, talk to this tutorial, Tom, and you're going to be transported to a tutorial island. So the game is a PVE survival based game. So if you're you know wondering if you're going to be having to like PVP a bunch of sweats, nope, you do not have to. It's got a lot of the mechanics of, you know, typical survival game. You got to cut down trees. There's a lot of games that have tried to do survival. Typically speaking, you go in those and everyone's killing you and you die instantly. And there's usually no tutorial. There's usually no progression and you're just dead on arrival. It looks like we have to uh, build a tent and the tutorial is pretty much guiding you throughout so you don't have to like worry about like what do i do just follow the tutorial see it just wants a tent we're just gonna put it right there come over back to this guy and pretty much um the goal of this is to establish your colony and settlement you got to talk to pocahontas over here um it is based on i guess west virginia back in the 1600s so a little interesting almost kind of like uh controversial topics <laughs> very much controversial topics but uh doesn't mean you can't actually enjoy the game still so you got the whole like farming mechanic you got like a marketplace you can sell to this is definitely up my alley for like the style of games that i like plant stuff harvest stuff i tend to do these a lot obviously from my islands days it looks like we gotta like place some dirt here i mean it's literally teaching you everything you need to do in this game and we leveled up again easy levels got our wheat we gotta like kill a deer man this game is violent i like it's a wolf hunter hunter the wolf to save the puppy wait hunter the wolf to save the i think they meant hunt the wolf to save the puppy okay uh let's use our bow and pink oh this is pretty good bow system too that actually felt pretty good and now we got a dog dude we got a puppy so if you want to check this game out i will link in the description very cool definitely a lot more to explore in this one you know with all the different quests i like the hunting aspect it looks like we got a hot dog now i don't know what that's from again this one is called nation survival if you want to check it out all right next up we got a game called my perfect hotel this game is pretty cool so you can see we got uh, different hotels these are other players here with their hotels it's pretty much uh like a tycoon style simulator meets uh role play meets uh sim you know yeah it's basically those things we can go and grab our cash here we're just getting so much money by running over this cash i don't know why anyone would have a stack of cash this big but you see on the bottom left you have your money we have 155 money we're gonna go and spend it here just stand inside the little hoop and now we have this like reception desk we can go and grab that so you pretty much walk around look for the money you got to pick it up here's 80 dollars right here for this this is our first room it's just a different setup so it looks like you could also partial pay down instead of like a lot of these like tycoons you walk up red button don't have enough money this one you could pretty much deposit a little bit at a time which is kind of nice um looks like you need to stand here too and you just take care of people like um looks like we have uh no room anymore no vacancy so we gotta wait for that guy to hurry up and sleep and get out of here <laughs> Then we got to clean up. We got to clean up after him. No bed bugs or anything like that. Get this person a room. This is actually pretty cool, though. We can get our five bucks here. We got enough right here to get another room. So now we have two rooms. So we can give two people rooms. And we got to go and clean this one. So it is a hotel management kind of, you know, game, which is really nice. I like it. It's kind of gives me like Diner Dash vibes. If you ever played that game, it kind of reminds me of that. Where you got to like serve people go and get this person oh we got to clean this one so yeah we really need a cleaner we need to hire a cleaner how much um how much is a cleaner oh you got to actually like spend robux on that That's smart so yeah this game's already addictive dude i i don't i think you need to i think you need to play it this game just came out like last month as well and it's already got like 1200 players so yeah we got three rooms now so yeah this game is really addictive really like it it's very very cool if you want to check it out i will link it in the description below all right next up here we have a game called fruit game this is based on the watermelon game that was popular outside of roblox and apparently there's another fruit game as well um this game though by my friend zach just feels night and day better with the controls i tried the other one it felt a little laggy this 
one's real smooth. You can see it's like really easy to move your controller around. I think though this one might be a little smaller. I'm not 100% on that, but I think this screen or this box may be smaller, making the game a little harder in some ways. So I'm not sure if that's true. How this works though. So you can see you've got like a little cherry. You merge two cherries, it turns into a strawberry. You merge two strawberries, turns into grapes. Merge two of those, it turns into a little coconut guy. Uh, merge those, it turns into a tomato. And it goes on and on. So you merge all these all the way up to this huge, huge watermelon. Now I have reached watermelon stage. Let me just be clear. I did actually, after raging many times, I finally did get that eventually yesterday. And I'm pretty proud of that, man. So you can see here, just drop these. They can, you know, kind of merge. And the thing is about this game though, is that you keep running out of space. So you can see you need to merge these, but the more you merge, the more you run out of space. This is where the raginess comes into this game. And it's pretty addictive though. Like I know, you know, at first you're like, eh, doesn't look like my thing but let me tell you i got my entire server stuck playing this game all day yesterday they were just hooked and everyone's trying to compete for the best score and such so it's pretty addictive it makes sense that you know it would be addictive because of the just the mechanics in general makes sense uh oh no see look i got two onions here i gotta try to con Vert these there we go there we go got it got it you see we just got a pineapple now you're running out of space already bullying at its finest right here yes no please Oh no, so you can see how ragey it gets. Uh, we made it to pineapple in this video though. Not bad, not bad. So my best score is uh, 3,000 something here. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm ranked number 25 on the leaderboard. Try to beat my score. I will link this game in the description if you want to check it out. Next up, we have a game called Anime Versus. You can see it is very much anime. Your typical anime characters, and you're gonna do dungeons. You're just gonna select Ninja Village for your first battle. You can create a lobby. Um, we're just gonna do easy mode here. and you you could start it by yourself or you can join others it is a dungeon game so if you play like elemental dungeon or dungeon quest or any of those games even treasure quest it's going to be a lot like that and you're going to be teleported into a dungeon like this and we only have one ability currently so you can see e is pretty much the ability that we have um very much just melee attacks initially until you can get some more abilities here we got nine more minutes to beat all these guys oh my gosh dude looks like if you die you do get respawned back to a checkpoint which is nice you don't have to run the entire link all right we got it we got it a little bit of time to spare you know a little time to spare but you get some loot look at this massive boss in the lobby it looks really cool if dungeon crawlers are your thing definitely check this game out it's pretty fun all right this next game is called shovelware studio hollywood it's basically like universal studios meets uh shovelware it's kind of like a role-playing game although there's some activities you can do you see there's like different morphs you can be this game was recommended by just a normal person 27 typically i'm not into these games and i probably would not have included this game in this video if not for the gallery and some of the experiences that they have inside it's just kind of fun to explore these characters and what they uh set up in here they got like a trolley you can ride <laughs> the hot dog guy so what i liked was going into here and you can kind of see all these like early life and crimes begin the dancing banana grew up in the small town of bonneville missouri these are actually pretty funny like little springs um you also gain tickets the more i guess you interact with stuff it's pretty cool yeah, this is this game is actually pretty neat for a showcase. Look at this. Here comes grandma. Hold on. I want to press the button. <laughs> That's cool. Dude, that guy's got the banana suit. Can I be the banana? Oh man. It looks like uh I gotta complete missions to unlock that morph. Man, we can go and have some popcorn. Yeah, it's pretty wacky. It's definitely one of those role-playing games. I don't know, not really my thing. Just like uh, Rainbow Friends RP is not my thing. But if you're into this style of game, you want to explore the world of shovelware, you can check this one out by clicking on the link in the description below. Oh, look, they got like a whole like construction area going on. This is cool. Next up is a game called Stasis, recommended by Depleted Energy 8619. This game is kind of an interesting quest style game. It has that pixelated blocky style indie vibe definitely interesting style um there's a lot to it to be honest think like craft items inside the game you can farm resources it feels a little bit more like a survival style rpg in that sense there's also some pve combat in here and i believe there might even be pvp but i don't know i didn't get that deep in this game definitely interesting looking game if you're into like the rpg types so after your tutorial you're going to enter white crest which looks like this looks like we're in alaska or something i don't know i don't know where we're at man oh what's this guy all his papers are all on the ground. Can we attack this guy? No. Nope. So you can talk to this guide and he's going to show you around. So another tutorial here. So if you want to check this game out, you can do so by clicking on the link in the description. It is called Stasis. It looks really nice. I like the style. 
This next game is called Skill-Based Boss Fights, which was recommended by Crispy2245. How this works is you go into whichever boss you want to fight. So we'll go ahead and jump into these guys. And it's a PvE style game. Essentially, you've got to battle bosses. That's pretty much... <laughs> That's pretty much all you gotta do. It's actually pretty good. I was surprised by this one. Although I, I kind of like went full throttle into a boss earlier and died. Uh, but the nice thing is you do respawn. So if you die, no big deal. Once the timer counts down, you're gonna get teleported to the boss battle. So you're gonna know who the boss is based on the red triangle on top of them. You do have five lives. You can see the bar on the left here. So you don't wanna be like too sloppy. Otherwise it'd be way too easy, you know? Oh, I just died. Speaking of, I just died. You can uh, use Q as well as E to, you know, strafe. And the game's kind of interesting. Definitely, uh, you know, we're checking out if you just want to come in here, like spam some uh, damage at a boss. I mean, that's kind of what this is all about, you know? Again, this game is called Skill-Based Boss Fights if you want to check it out. This next game is pretty funny. It is called Weenie Inc. It is in beta and it's pretty much a tycoon meets like a simulator, similar to the hotel one where there's a lot more going on. If you come over here, you have to, you spawn this and then you drag it right let me spawn another one and so you drag it over here and then you got to put it inside the cooker machine it cooks the hot dogs gives you money do some more looks like we got some ai over here it looks like we're feeding them and we got 100 so we're gonna go and buy that see all these ai coming over here and eating so we have Red's Ketchup Order Menu. That's $50. So it's pretty interesting, to be honest. I really like this. I like the mechanic. Definitely different from your typical like tycoon. A lot more interactive. A lot more things to do instead of just sitting around. You can also hire staff, it looks like. Um, stalker required. So we got a stalker here. Factory's 1,000. So we got automation going now. Now we're making money automatically. Of course, you can pay to win. So you're pretty much feeding the entire city hot dogs. That's funny. We're going to go and expand our factory path. Wow, look at this entire new factory over here so yeah this is just the start of this game let's go visit some other people over here some people have full-on like delivery trucks so this is what it looks like for a factory that's working see they're like dropping what are they dropping dough boy so they're making dough oh wow look they got like conveyors going on they've got like a diggity hot diggity dog what is this value per serving got a meat a meat smasher, a weenie twister. Okay, yeah, this is a crazy game. Meat truck, dough trucks. Wow, they got it fully automated. So if you want to check this game out, I will link it in the description. Again, it is called Weenie Inc. All right, next up we have TDX. Yep, that's right. TDX has released, they call it a pre-beta. I don't know what a pre-beta is, but it's like before beta. Isn't that alpha? Technically, that's alpha. But uh, you can see we got level one, five, and 30 here. If you ever played TDS, yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh, look at it. They got like, like uh, tanks. So as soon as it's like teleporting, it looks like the, the tank actually pulls out. Look at that. That's so cool. Um, I did buy the starter pack. That's why I got a couple of towers here. But I have let's just let's just hop in, see what it's like. Go ahead and do an easy because we want to win. <laughs> Looks like the enemies are going to be coming from here. All right, we got 900. Let's go ahead and put this guy out. Let's see what he does. This guy's a shotgunner. We can upgrade him, of course. Oh, interesting. So they got like different abilities you can upgrade. So if you've never played a tower defense game before, you got this entrance here. You got these uh, enemies that come around this path. You got to set down towers. So you can see we got different towers at the bottom. They cost uh, money. My money's on the bottom right there with the little dollar bill sign. And um, the more you kill, the more you make money. And ultimately, you want to protect your um, your exit here, you know, from enemies getting over here. If they reach this area, then you lose health. So you can see right here, we got 391 HP. And you take damage if units get across and through so i'm gonna go ahead and place this guy here because he looks pretty awesome Let's put him in like right put him like right here boom nice gonna upgrade this guy oh yeah and look at he gets like visually upgraded the more you upgrade that looks so cool easy wins right here with these rocket launcher guys i just bought these the missile troopers oh look at these Dude, MRL is next. Look at that. 35,000 missile trooper. What is he doing? Whoa, dude, the range on that. Plague doctor? Come on, dude. It's 22,000. Come on. Can we get it? Can we get it? Come on. Stop. Stop before you go. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. No way, dude. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, TDX. We won our first easy match. <laughs> So of course over here you could buy stuff, you could buy units. 
This one's locked here. High tech starts them off. So you have to unlock this one at level 35. It looks like everything in the game can be purchased for the most part, except for this one. Um, this one looks like you have to unlock at, uh, you know, level 150. So pretty cool game though. If you want to check it out, I will link it in the description. As always, looks like the game is at 30,000 players already. I'm assuming they're going to reach 50 to 100,000 players because it's TDX and everyone's been waiting for this game. Now, Pet Simulator 99 was announced. It was supposed to be Happy Pet Place, but apparently it is Pet Simulator 99. So I did want to include a clip of this just to show you some um, gameplay of it. It is supposed to come out on December 1st, which is, you know, more than a week away. Some people thought it was, you know, six days away, but it is not not okay so it is literally december 1st is what the current date is that i'm hearing but the game is pretty much as you'd expect it is essentially pet simulator x but with a big twist there's a lot of gameplay elements in this game that are different than just the break coins over and over and over uh, i think they're just trying to differentiate themselves away from all the copycats maybe but everyone's just going to copy them anyway and there's like different events in here i mean you can combine potions it has a little bit of that pet simulator 2 vibe to me like if you remember pet simulator 2 tried to do a lot of this stuff that you're seeing here um and then they failed because the updates just took too long so uh it looks like there's a lot of content here you can swim around with you got like different hero flags there's just a lot of gameplay mechanics in this version of the game you're swimming around with a bunch of fish pets like it does look like they're trying to bring it into a little bit more of a mario feel to things um the game is controversial because of the fact that there's so many um gambling mechanics in a sense that the loot boxes are aggressive they're very expensive a lot of people have you know complained about that y you know to each their own if you like this style of game you should be allowed to like this style game if you like shooters you like shooters if you like this game like this game no shame in liking pet simulator games so this game is not out yet but i did want to mention it because the teaser did come out anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next vid peace